I really okay, so I wanted to ask you, Miles, about someone we were talking about on the way back from a Power Nine. Okay. Is it okay to talk about him? I think that? so. Really <laughs> we're talking about the same guy? Yeah. What's the same Not guy? Not Hunter. Not Milf Hunter. <laughs> I wanted to talk about Milf Hunter. We can talk about Hunter if you want. Yeah, I mean, I'll but San Diego Milf Hunter? No, just the oh, Milf Hunter. Oh, you, you're trying to talk about Booney right now. Booney. Oh, so a the friend God. of Yeah, Yeah, the legend. <laughs> Booney? So, Booney is the reason I want to move to Australia because I feel like I belong there. <laughs> so I have a friend. Well, I have a friend of a friend, really. And he's just like. He's the kind of character that I feel like I haven't bumped into in America. <laughs> like he's lived several, like he's lived several of his his years in Southeast Asia. He kind of just travels with no real aim. Uh, when he comes home, he sleeps on like a a single Spider Man mattress, with, like <laughs> Batman covers. A true waste. And he's still like he 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 goes to the pub and he takes home some of the hottest females I've ever seen. Full well knowing he's taking them to the garage <laughs> with, the the Spider -Man with the Spider Man the Spider Man mattress. Yeah. <laughs> And they will legitimately call him back the next day. He's like one of the most charismatic people I've ever met. And sometimes he just pops back into... He's he's more my best friend's friend than my friend. And um, sometimes we'll be out drinking or something and he'll just be there. And he just appears. And he'll, he'll, he'll be like, oh, I'm buying boys. I've got three grand. Like... <laughs> he just will randomly sometimes just be like, uh, uh, like, do you want to do like he? He's just a mystery bag. He just has items with him. Some of the items are drugs. Some of the items are money. Some of the items are like phone numbers that he's trying to call to see who it is. And he just does the most absurd things. Um, he like, he nearly died in Africa, um, going through like a war torn country. And he tells the story. He's like, yeah, it was really funny, man. They had the AK pointed at my head, and you know, I really thought that was it for me. You know, I was like <laughs> knee deep in a ditch and. The, the bus driver actually had a connection to one of the cartels and said, you know, don't waste this guy, but they were really about to. <laughs> He's like, I heard gunshots in the distance and stuff. Like, yeah, it was a, it was a pretty rough spot. And his name is Booney. His name is Boonslang. That's his nickname. <laughs> so Boonslang. But his birth certificate is his, Booney. His, his, his real name is um, Alexander. And you told me that he, was, uh, he had a certain thought going through his mind when he had the AK pointed at his head. I don't remember that he was uh, that the only thing he could think about was all the Sheilas that he rinsed. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, he has a he has a saying. Um, yeah, one of his sayings is um, rinsing birds is like rinsing dishes. You can't get the dirty ones done quick enough. <laughs> Jesus Christ! So, so this uh, man that, gives, is, that paints you a picture of the kind this of this man is just this just traveling legend who fucks on a Spider Man mattress. Who shows up here yeah. and there? Um, he he once had a girl sitting on his lap, and he wet himself for a joke <laughs> at the bar <laughs> to like to to make her go ah right yeah just for a laugh. That's a chill bit. It was a, that's a, a, a I, I think that's a chill a, bit. I think that bit is a little more than chill. I think that's a fire bit. <laughs> that's a fire bit for sure. I don't know how to feel about that. Bit. <laughs> that's the kind of bits He's, this guy's sticking out there is um some pretty uh edgy. Questionable, volatile kind of things. I don't even know if that's like things, edgy. You know? Kind of man. No, it's, it's not edgy to piss yourself. It's it, that's like assault, I guess. Is it? Is it? Is know. that what we're calling assault these days? Sitting on someone's lap while they're pissing themselves? <laughs> <laughs> well, no. If he's, you piss, he's assaulting his, himself. If really. you piss your pants and a person is touching you, is that assault? But Booney hmm. is so cool. Law experts in the chat. Literally, he can do the Billy Madison where he's like, "It's cool to piss your pants." <laughs> right, right. You know, right. He, he's that guy. He's got and so he can much make it work. Yeah. There was one night where we were leaving a party and this girl comes up to him and she's like, name one reason why I should go home with you tonight because they've been flirting a bit that night. And he was just like, you have nowhere else to go. You are, he's like, just like rattled off this series of like really brutal, probably mostly truth to this girl who's like a, a neighborhood degenerate. You mean he didn't say, I can piss myself. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he just like, right I pissed myself lap. earlier. What do you want from me? <laughs> He's just like he just like rattled off this thing, and he's just like you know you know that when we walk out like when I walk out that door, you're gonna follow me half heartedly five minutes later, and that's like exactly what happened. Wow, to the Spider Man bed, dude. Yeah, dude. See, that's fucked up. Some people in this world are just born boon slang. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think you can become that. You're, I don't know if you can. It's in your code. Yeah, you have right. to. He, he's been doing wild shit for a laugh for a long time though. What's some What's some other wild shit he's done for a laugh? Or just like in Australia, you guys tend to pee a lot. Yeah. On each other. I think these stories are just all cropping up. I think this is, um, what do they call it? Like, this is like false positives, you know. Confirmation bias. Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> Confirmation bias. Every time an Australian pees, we hear about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there's no wall, so you yeah. know about it. Yeah. Well, the thing you is, you don't hear about the times the Australians don't pee on each other. There's yeah. plenty. There's a lot. <laughs> you guys but are yeah, paying a negative image yeah. of us. 
Um, Actually, when he was explaining this person, I was like, this is like my stereotypical Australian. This guy, this guy almost feels not real with some of the, like, some of the things that he does. Is he a bogan? No, no, he's not. He, he has too much, a bogan is like a redneck, you know? Okay. Like. Do they own like vehicles? He has, he has too much. He has too much swagger to be a but like he has too much charm to be a bogan. Okay, bogans are just crude. Yeah, okay. like very simple people. <laughs> okay. Booney is the kind of guy who will, like ask you to drink wine in the park at three p.m. with him when he's back in town. But like, he, he, that he's not. It's not as simple as it sounds. You know. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. There's a there's a there's a cartel involved and like. <laughs> He's, look, yeah, he's man, look, man, like, I need you to carry dude, this across the border. Off anybody else, some of the stories he's told me would just be, com- you know, you know when you meet someone and they're just obviously telling you complete lies. Yeah, about and you're like, come on, yeah. and you're just like, dude, like you don't, you don't need a lie to kick it. You know, the things I've seen this man do, like, just completely validate all of his stories. Like the things he's done in the brief time I've spent with him, just like make everything make sense. Be a boony, right? Like in your life. That's you, what I'm saying. You have very little to lose. Boony's not calling his dad asking him to watch a match for more match. Fuck no, he's not. Booney's saying Bayonetta is pretty fucking lame, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, Bo- Booney is kind of like Mango, you know? Like, he just does what he wants to do, does it his way, and if that's enough to get him across the line, he's just going to laugh at you and call you lame anyway. Yeah, and it's charming, because people respect that sort of confidence in yourself. Um, yeah, for real. He, speaking- doesn't, he doesn't need anyone else to tell him that <laughs> peeing your pants is cool. Speaking of, p- 